Hey guys, it's Mike Tolliver from Tolliver Smoke and Barbecue. I just wanted to run you by uh, a brine that you could that you could use for your ham. Uh, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a nice a nice ham like this. Uh, this is about 12 pounder, nice size. This is for the family. Um, you're gonna need some ice, uh, just enough ice to keep the ham cool. You're gonna need a bucket, uh, a clean bucket or somewhere that you can contain your ham. You're also gonna need pineapple chunks. This is two cans and it's approximately 20 ounce cans. You're gonna need some brown sugar. I typically use two cups of brown sugar. And you're gonna need some um, apples. I got two apples that I cut in forks. That's a good addition to give good flavor to your ham. You're gonna need some apple cider vinegar. This is a, a quarter of a quarter cup of it. Um, I don't know if you can see here, but this is you're gonna need a half cup of garlic. Uh, anything I cook is always garlic in it. Um, then you're gonna need a half cup of salt. Why my salt looks a little brown because I ran out of white salt, so I'm gonna use seasoned salt. It works the same. It doesn't matter typically. So. What I did before we started shooting this video is I added about half water. Uh, I filled the bucket halfway up with water. That's what I was trying to say. So now I'm just going to take the ham. You can rinse it out, whatever, whatever you want to do. Put it in. Put it in the bucket. Now, uh, your ham should be in covered in the water. The water should be covering it completely. As you can see, I'm just going to clean up after myself, clean as you go. And we're going to use the pineapples. We're just going to dump it in there. It has a nice flavor. Hi. That's my son in the background. Everybody say hi. Um, then we're going to put the apples in there. Like so. We're gonna put the brown sugar in there, like so, like again, that's two cups. The garlic. Apple cider vinegar. Then your salt. Obviously you could use more salt than this. This is just what I like to use. And you just gotta get in there and you just gotta mix it all up. I don't like to use that much salt because usually a lot of these hams are already pre-salted. So, you know, that's just a little hint. Just mix it around a little bit. Nice little mixing. Don't worry about getting dirty. That's how it should look. Now we're just going to let that sit. Uh, today's Saturday, tomorrow's is when I'm going to be cooking. Typically, Brimes is 24 hours to 72. So, yeah, I'm going to be pulling this out pretty soon tomorrow. And then what we're going to do is put the ice in there. Like I said, it just keeps the temperature cool at a nice temperature that you need to be at. Because you don't want the ham going bad. And last tip, which I don't have right now. So you're going to put a foil around there and you're going to monitor the temperature throughout the day. If, if, you're, in a, if you're in a climate that, that's snowing, it's, well, you might not have to monitor it. But if you're in a climate like mine, or I'm in a desert, I'm going to have to monitor it. And uh, you're, going to be using, you're going to be using more ice eventually. So as the ice melts, you get more ice, put them in. That's why it's important not to fill up the bucket completely with water first because you want to make sure that you have enough uh, space to put more water in it as it melts away. So this is Mike Tolliver signing out, giving you a, hopefully giving you a nice good tip for your Easter. Um, make sure you check out our website at tolliversmokingbarbecue.com for more tips and uh, join our email, our email newsletter that we're going to send out every Sunday. Um, Tune in out, Mike Tolliver. Have a happy Easter, guys. Thank you.